All right, I'm pretty excited to chat with Raj, uh, who's the CTO at Works for Go. Raj, welcome to the Robert Show. Thank you. Uh, I'm pretty sure you're enjoying Gartner Day Two here, uh, but uh, it's such a pleasure to you know have you on the show, and I'm uh, excited to learn more about the data and analytics world. What are you doing at Wells Fargo? But just for our audience, would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, this is Raj Madigula. I run the consumer data for consumer data products at Wells Fargo. Yeah. Been here on the block for 25 years at seven different banks, and Wells is where I am for the last seven years doing data. This is fantastic. In, uh, I just heard your session and it was amazing. Well, thank you. Uh, thanks for uh, you know sharing all the great insights in the real work that you're doing in the space. Uh, just for our audience, uh, I also wanted to you know ask you, what does it mean to lead a data-driven organization? It, because Fogo is like huge. Right. No, it's pretty, pretty exciting, challenging, and I also say it comes with its share of frustrations, but leading a data-driven organization provides a unique opportunity to bring people, right. process, tools, yep. technology, yep. leadership, and value all in one place. Exactly. It's easier said than done, but the fact, you know, driving a data-driven organization touches so many facets of an organization, makes it challenging, exciting, at the same time, frustrating uh, equally, right, which is part and, part and parcel of the job. I think it's also fun when you know you have the challenges and then when you kind of get through it, it becomes way, you know, you kind of get those use cases, you understand and you kind of get to the next level. No, that's a very fairly said, right, because last year it's public news, we launched small business loans, which was cutting through the same elements of data, right. but we had a record launch in three months and when it won the top five innovation awards oh, wow. in USA Tech Awards, I mean, it's like everyone saw the value out of the journey, right? Yeah. Of, of realizing data for a business value. Okay, that's fantastic. Also, very quickly, I wanted to you know touch base on how are you harnessing you know uh, the existing architecture, considering the legacy and the new modern architecture that's in place to drive analytics and AI initiatives. That's uh, uh, I'm sure that's from my session too. I've seen that that's a common theme or a yeah. common bug which is biting everyone. Definitely, with legacy comes few aspects of tightly bound. You know, yeah technology constructs, lack of open stacks, to very aspirationally getting into the AI and the cloud side of things, and yep. that's where where we necessarily see is an element to adopt and execute on cloud native technologies, so that that gives you a leg up. At the same time, creating a very scalable and compatible unified interim state as a step to target state, right? That becomes a very pivotal and foundational to your target state journey success. Exactly, that's a very good, uh Side, to be honest, uh, because that's one of the things I talk to a lot of enterprise leaders, and they have a similar type of, you know, this this challenge where they're like, oh, we have legacy, but there are new, new and modern things that are happening in the AI world, and the AI world is like yeah. moving rapidly every day, every hour actually. We every day we are outdated, right? <laughs> <laughs> You're so right about yeah. that. Okay, so that also brings me to another question. What do you think about optionality and building a data architecture around openness? Why is it important? It's, it's a very interesting and important guiding principles for how our nation should look like transformation, which is a multi-year journey. More often than not, as we evolve in the data space, which I was talking in the forum too, right, is like how tightly coupled you are to a particular tech stack or a platform. Sure. Which journey, like just like the example you just said, right, AI is getting us outdated every day. Every day. How do you catch up with that? The openness of your architecture, openness of your tech stack, mm. literally makes it, you know, the transformation journey much more seamless. And a, a simple example is, you know, I've seen that nine out of 10 organizations, uh, at least I've been in, the storage and computer are so tightly coupled. Right. But you just translate that into a journey path forward, right? The storage and compute should not be tightly coupled, which will really give you the flexibility of storage and compute, compute. from a yeah. cost or an ROI or an execution product. Okay, these are fantastic insights, thanks for sharing that. Also, real quick, if people want to reach out to you, I'm pretty sure the audience love insights, uh, what you're sharing, and they would definitely want to learn more. So is LinkedIn a good place to connect with you? Or? Yes. Okay, yes. fantastic. So people can connect with Raj on LinkedIn. And Raj, it was such a pleasure to have you on the Robert Show. Yeah. Once again, thanks for sharing all the great insights. No, thank you for the opportunity and thank you for the time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, bye.